One of Excel's most powerful and creative tools is called a pivot table. And when you work with large amounts of data, list type data, pivot table is great for coming up with quick summary information. It has standard techniques for grouping data, say by date or time, but you can also create your own custom groupings. I'm going to create a pivot table based on this data. It's some 900 rows. It covers data over a two year period. We're tracking sales by different salespeople here. On the Insert tab in the ribbon, we can create a pivot table, and in Excel 2013, there's a new feature called Recommended Pivot Tables. Give that a chance, because sometimes the layouts that you see here might be, if not exact, at least close to something that you might want. So as I'm looking through this list here, I'm thinking, well, this list here that shows the labels consisting of the products is fairly close to what I want, so I'll just double-click this option. And suddenly, on a new sheet, we've got a pivot table. Off to the right is the pivot table field list, now, what I'd like to do with this list here is also add region as a column label. So I'll drag it from the list into the column labels area right here. And we've got this data right here. And instead of doing do dollar amounts, I prefer items here. So I'll uncheck the box for dollar amount and check the box for items. So let's say this is looking reasonably close to something that I want. But already somebody's asked the question, could you give me a list of, of our sales in the eastern region here. Well, we don't really have an eastern region. We've got northeast, we've got southeast, northwest, southwest. But all I'm going to do here is to drag this southeast. Now, what I'd like to do is drag all of this, but I need only select the top cell and point to the bottom edge and drag it leftward. The numbers below at the 448, the 314, etc., will travel with it as I drag it leftward like this. And now we've got these two next to each other. By highlighting both of these, we can then right-click and choose Group. And the term Group 1 appears right here. Notice that it, to the left of this, we see the minus symbol for collapsing this list. So I'm going to type right over it. The cell is selected. I'm going to type East. As I double-click this or click the minus, either way, I'll double-click. It collapses the list. The minus is replaced by a plus. I can click the plus or double-click to expand it again. And if I were grouping these two, I'd probably want to group the other two. So highlighting the NW and the SW columns, right-click again and group. And there's group two, but we'll rename it West. Simply type right over it. So we have this ability here by collapsing both of these to see East and West totals. In effect, it's new information that we didn't have earlier. We don't have it in our data group like this. Notice that in the pivot table fields list to the right, now we also have a region two. So we can expand and collapse this at different times depending upon our needs. And we can also do this in the row labels area as well. Maybe it would make sense here to come up with a kitchen appliance total here. So I'm going to take refrigerators here and possibly move it next to dishwashers. We've got clothes washers up there. Maybe I'll move dryers up. We can do this in a couple of different ways. Here's dryers I've selected. I'm going to drag the bottom edge of this upward. Now here too, the numbers to the right, the 467, the 420, etc., we want those to move upward, so we put them right next to clothes washers. And there we have that data. So why not group these two? Right-click and group, and I'll call those laundry. Now, since we've got two fields here, for the moment here too, we've got the option. I'll click the minus for laundry. It collapses or expands. We've got those in effect. Let's also select dishwashers and refrigerators. Let's highlight these two. Right-click and group. And we've got a, a group two here, and we'll call that kitchen. Again, typing right over the entry there. So now we have the ability to see the breakout by the individual items or simply collapse these to see our laundry totals, our kitchen totals. And maybe this is an expanding group of sales items here. We're going to have more laundry items, more kitchen items, and maybe televisions eventually will be into a different group for home entertainment, something like that. So we've got this ability to, to expand. You might call it custom grouping. That's not the official name of this. You might call it ad hoc. But I think you can see how easy it is to group these on your own based on your own grouping needs.